Okay, just a quick look at the uh, standard piston. Um, now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this off uh, to pull short and uh, get some of his magic done to it. So I thought before I did that I would have a quick look at the standard piston. This is the, um, the uh, piston seal that I've taken off it. Um, it is hugely hard. Uh, I know it's supposed to be a parachute seal but I can't see any movement in that whatsoever. I don't know whether, whether they're like that when you get them brand new but uh, we're getting a, a new one coming in the post for that. Um, and this is your, your standard HW80 piston. Not polished in any way shape or form. Uh, it's got a, a few marks here where it's metal on metal over time. Um, other than that I can't see any other evidence of uh, metal to metal contact, maybe a little bit there. <coughs> um, but this is going to go off and, uh, and have the pull short treatment. So it'll be interesting to see uh, the before and the after of the piston. Okay. We looked at the original piston. This is the piston now. Um, it's been to Paul Short and been treated to some of his attention. Now what I've asked him to do is his normal thing where he puts the Delrin rings at the front and at the back of the piston so that there's, uh, there can be no metal to metal contact. And what I've also asked him to do is, is lighten it by including these two extra slots in a piston, removing that amount of metal. So we've got a, a lightened uh, piston with the Delrin piston rings um, courtesy of Paul Short, superb work as ever from him. This is the original uh, Viraux seal, solid job, and um, I sent off to Custom Air Seals in Australia for one of their uh, red seals. Uh, this is the job. It feels considerably more pliable than the white thing that I took off. Like I say, um, I can I can't remember ever feeling anything as hard as that. I don't know whether it's that's how it should be or whether it's just age but really really hard. Um, the next thing I want to think about is the, is the power plant to uh, push this along. Now then the spring that I took out was this beast. Enormous great big spring. Um, obviously the original spring developing way too much power um, so I don't want to use that one. What I do have is this. This is a VMAX spring that I took out of one of my HW97s um, when I did uh, uh, an upgrade on that. Uh, so that, the latch rods are the same size so that fits on there nicely. Um, the next stage is obviously because the cylinder is uh, considerably uh, wider than that of a 97. I've got a little bit of space around here, so I've ordered some 1mm PTFE sheet and I'm going to make a, a, a piston sleeve to fit nicely up there and take up any of that spare space. So that's going to be the, uh, the power plant for the 80. Um, obviously I'm still working on the, the uh, polishing and finishing of the gun ready for blacking. And then we can start assembling the thing and uh, checking the power and making sure it's legal, etc. etc. Um, but there you go, that's the, uh, the Paul Short piston. Beautiful looking thing now. Beautiful, nicely polished up. Can't wait to get it in the gun. And uh, we'll be putting that, uh, that uh, custom air seal seal on there and see how that works. So far, so good.